Hello everybody, Lord Thunder Monkey back here with you. Glad you could join me. Like I said last time, we are headed over to take care of those pigs first thing. I uh, do want to throw out to you guys, you know, something I can do it a little bit of a different way here, is that if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you thought, why you liked it, why you didn't. Uh, if you really liked it, Please subscribe, and if you have friends uh, who you think might like it, let them know what this is all about and what we're doing, and let them know what the action is all about. So anyway, we're going to head down to the pigs. Like I said, they are thirsty, hungry, and probably hot since they've got no water to make a big old mud pit with. You people need to listen. So we're going to head on over here. Try not to kill ourselves as we're speeding along. Water these piglets. I'll we'll just probably leave this water tank here. Ah, is that water? Please tell me that's the water one. No, water's not accepted here. Of course not. Why would water be accepted there? That would be silly. Let's go in over there. Water must go in over here. Ah, oh, lovely. Yes, there we go. Okay. So let's take this. Ah, easy, easy. A little bit. We got a heavy foot when it comes to reverse. I don't know who that is. All right, I'm gonna head back on over to the farm. Now let's see here. I'm kinda. We should wax, wax the truck while we're in the shade, but don't have the time. So anyway, we'll head back on over to the farm. We will get that rain truck on over. We'll shut Shura down because she's done such a fantastic job. We can't keep up with her now. Get out the way. I must be speaking gibberish. I really must. Thank you, Shira. You've been a big help. I don't know how to thank you. I hope I can hire you again sometime soon. You've done a fantastic job. Yeehaw! Catch an ear? No. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, baby. Right, sure. Thank you so very much for your help. But unfortunately at this point, we must send you home because I am full. I wonder where my farmall's at. Now the good news is, is that the best price is at Giant's Brain, which is basically straight across, not very far from here. The unfortunate part is the price is going up. Now, you would say, hey, hang on to the grain and we'll sell it later. But that's not the contract we have with the island. Uh, you guys listened to the earlier episode. The contract we have for them granting us access to all the land and all the crops was that we sell the grain that we are not going to use to feed our animals immediately. No matter the price. So we don't put it in storage, we don't hang on to it, it gets sold. Big money. Come on, big money. Well, maybe not big money. 
fairly decent money. There's the cost of our water tanker back. Plus some. Fifteen thousand on the first load. Uh, will we get eight on the second? It's smaller and the price probably dropped. Ten thousand, all more than I thought. Twenty-five, almost twenty-six thousand dollars. That's terribly exciting. We are rich. Ah. Uh, take this bad boy back. Get the sunflower harvest going again. Get the farm all hooked up to the sunflowers. There shouldn't be that much left. There should be a couple of them left over there. And then we can take the truck and we'll go get the soybeans. Just a second. My other farm all. Smoke it away. Did this one smoke bad? Not as bad, that's for sure. Oh boy. That's a leading. <laughs> I'm only running on two wheels of the to the axles of the four. This will be fun, that's for sure. That was not the count tra tractor I thought I was getting in. Um, get this bad boy up and down. Get it back to work. Get this tractor out of the way. That's going to put a lot of pressure on those wheels. It's a small tractor. How much I can do about that one? It'd be better with a hitch with a tongue. Or not hit yeah, hitch with the tongue. A, with a turntable dolly in front. Whatever it is I'm trying to say. Where is my other where's that soybean harvest? The cleaner at? Let me just think about that. Do I know where the cleaner's at? Find that cleaner. It'll be right over yonder. Maybe that guy will probably have to fuel it up. There it is, and it's finished it. What a good job you've done. I'm so proud of you. One tanker. Profitability, not high. There we go, and hot dog. Excuse me, I to get a drink. Do we have any more soybeans that are ready? Um, soybeans are the dark green. Field 27. That's only the soybeans on the map. So yeah, let's go ahead and get that fueled up. This guy, follow it. I kind of cut through 
through. Again, my grasp, my rules. Head on over here. Where is the gas tank? Is that it over there? I don't know how that truck's going to handle that. We're about to find out. If it gets stuck, not a big deal. I thought, well that fuels, I'll just go ahead and go get that unstuck. Um, dude? Really? I appreciate the offer if you try to take out my shelter. That's ridiculous. Fuel on this thing is more than fine. Alright, anyway, field number 27. Hop on out there, okay. Hope fate get, to get that thing turned the right direction by the time we get back over there to unload it. Sure, it was so good. Always had it where it belonged. Here we go. Off to the races at 14 miles an hour. Alright. Hang on, right, right here, right? Right, right. Hey, this is Sam. Up and up and. Go, Sam. Work that field, boy. A long way to go. Long way to go. You know, this is that person. Whoever that is, who did I hire? Who is that? Frana? It's the last time I hired Frana. She is driving that engine. She got stuck in first gear. Wide open. Killing me here. Absolutely killing me here. right there. Thank you. It's getting there. It's getting there, but you know what, actually? Actually, you're going to probably need to switch that out to the... Oh, no, I can't switch that to the Oliver because it wouldn't drop the stupid thing into the ground. <sighs> I wonder if I could put a front, lo front loader on the Oliver. I hate to do it, but... I'm going to head on over to the shop and see if I can't do that. Okay, so here we are at the shop. Let's just see what happens here now. Right, customize this bad boy. And we cannot put a front loader attachment on us. Ah, oh, such a bummer. That really puts a torque wrench in my plans. I have to take this over. We're just going to have to uh, double check that with uh, Sam. Make sure that this thing won't put it in the ground. Either way, we're going to need to we're gonna need Sam because we need to be the pigs. Not the pig, we need to be the sheep, I'm just saying. I don't know, leave me alone. Oh, man. Alright, Sam, here I come.
Alright, Sam. I don't know. Bit of a quirk there. Bit of a quirk. Alright. Just gonna have to leave you there for the time being. We need you. You need to feed those pigs. Sheep! You need to feed the sheep! I'm gonna get it figured out. I promise. I'm gonna call the sheep fold. Run on over there. Unload her. Close after the sunflower's life. Might have to get one of those bigger cultivators. I found a, a nice harrow that would work. I think pretty doggone well, and it's fairly large in comparison to what we're using. I love this little character. It was fun. We had a lot of fun about that. You know, taking people, you know, we had hay rack rides every, every fall. And just doing odds and ends. Grandpa had a plow that fit on the front of it. He plowed the draw, rides out with when the snows came. And, you know, different things. It was kind of a, kind of wherever, wherever things worked out, we needed to, have a little something, something to get it done, so. Alright. You, my friend, you go home and get the spike. Hey, friend, your backside here. Thank you, appreciate that. Have to see how much power that, uh, that new cultivator would cost and how much we can get in return for the one we got. Might have to do that because I'm pretty sure that's one that'll it's not it it's not dependent on the three point hitch to drop in the ground. So we can put it on the Oliver. Free this tractor up. Is my bale spike in here? No. It's a hail with a fix too. I need to poop. That's right, I said it poop. Alright. The sheep, the sheep, the sheep. Put that up to the... No. We should cut across here. Maybe we should cut across here. I don't think I've gone out this way yet. The first, right? Cut across here. Popping off to the main road. Now we'll just kind of cut kind of straight across. Oh, that's the unique. A new route. I'm so excited taking a new track. Alright, it's not that exciting, but you know. It's the most excitement we've got for the day. <laughs> I am just, I mean, look at the speed that I, I'm, I'm just cooking. Absolutely cooking. 21 miles an hour. Okay, not quite cooking. But you know, anyway. We're moving. We're getting there. We are getting there. Not fast enough. Let's move along. Take the fuel this thing up too. Ah, fuel costs. The brutal. Watch it drop like one bale in, which would just absolutely, you know, fry my brain. Anything 
coming at ever so slowly speeds. No, okay, here we go. These guys harvested, get them planted just as straight up grass. I wish you didn't have to go full large. I wish it was like a, a large map and a small map button. I wonder if we can map that out. I'll have to take a look at that. That would be way more convenient. A little bit more natural. There is a lot of grass here, even without putting those grass. Probably more than enough to feed the animals. Love the black smoke. It might be overkill, but this thing really kills it. All right, here we are. How are my friends and sheep? You're already producing me wool. You oh, it's the wool spot point. Duh. I wonder what that's for. What would that one's for? Um, wool. Let's go ahead and take three. Go over with any less than my max. And then bite into them as best we can. There we go. Run on over here and we will feed these guys. In cap view shows us not a whole lot better. 12,000 in grass, and you will take what? 8,000. 4,000. Ah! I lost them. I'm going to leave those there. I won't have to feed you guys for a while. You will take care of the feeding yourself. So, yes, like I said, quite disappointing. They took one bale. I dragged this guy over one bale, but at least I didn't have to, uh, I didn't end up upgrading one of the other tractors with a Run in the loader and spend the money there. So, six to one half dozen the other. It's four to five. We are, you know what? Or right near the shop, aren't we? Yeah. Hang on, just a second here. Let me call the shop. Let me call the shop. And we're going to look at cultivators here. So the one we have is what, this guy? Yeah. So it's max value is 9400 If we got half that back, 4500 This thing's only $6,700. And it's 11.3 meters. I think that's an absolute must. And in fact, I'm just going to grab it now. I mean, for $6,700, it does 11.3 meters. This does three. It might speed up the cultivating process just a little bit. Save us, quite frankly, some money on, uh, on, uh, oh, wages. I'm gonna run this bad boy back over here. My shop. Right across the corner here. Again, my grass, my rose. Holy business for what little sheep we have. Plus, I'm not even sure we'll go through the bales we have taken already. I don't know that we're going to have a whole bunch of extra money. It's all said and done to buy more animals. Where'd that come up at? Over here. Oh, look at that beautiful thing. Oh, it's kind of a three point hitch. Killing me here. I'll try it on the Oliver anyway. Look at that beauty. That is fantastic. Oh, absolutely fantastic. Back this up here real quick. Doesn't seem to counterbalance too bad. What's the horsepower requirement on this? 170 horsepower. So we're under horsepowering it here, and the other tractor would be just about right. Whereas this guy is you know, 120 horsepower. This guy's more than 
or the proper for the other guy. Even if it goes at half the speed, that's like, you know, still five meters at full speed, which is still faster than three meters. Last I did the math. Gonna head on back home. Full pitch of whining. Come back down over here. Whoa, easy there. Easy there. Pushing me around. Well, I think that'll do real nicely to the way it, it drops out the sides. It'll be right there to feed them. I think that'll be uh, quite unique, quite clever. Quite frankly, the way it's normally done. I'm gonna head this guy on over. We're gonna we can put it on that guy. No, we really can't. It's got no three point linkage. That would be ridiculous. 66 horsepower. Watch it just struggle at about a mile an hour. Oh! Another fire. I hate firing people. No, I really don't. I feel like Lord. <laughs> you guys have took took the boys. Took the boys. We watched uh, Lego Ninjago movie. They enjoy that. Lord Garmadon. You're fired. Goodbye. Come on. There we go. Progress is being made, folks. That off. No reason to make that running. Okay. Oh, I normally would want to leave that spike on there. Hopefully, we will switch the tractors over here. My tractors are rolled. My combines are rolled. But they sure get the job done. If we upgraded, like, the big stuff, like if we, you know, had, like, a New Holland CR-1090 with a 45-foot header rolling up and down these fields and probably not much bigger republic for they than this. Might be able to sneak like a 13 or 14 meter on I don't know if they want to go much bigger than that. But let's let's just see what the heck this looks like. I ground both okay. I'm tempted. No, put that down. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Whoop, oh, wrong. Seriously, wrong deck up button. Not quite as it's intended. Yep. Let's make register this to the ground. Oh, that's so terribly disappointing. Is there another tractor I can buy that's not going to cost me a fortune that I can do that with? Otherwise, we're going to have to go with the farm mall here, and I just don't know that's got the, the oompa-pa to do it. No, 66 horsepower. Nope. Nope. Uh, nope. This one. Nope. Uh-uh. This is the one. This is the guy. And... Yeah, it's... it's Yeah, that's base. Ah! That's such a stink. I need just a small tractor. That doesn't cost... But a hill of beans. 
you like those, those are about the 844 engine setup. Uh, 87 horsepower. That's not quite going to cut it, is it? No. No, it's not. And this guy, it's $48,000. That's more than enough horsepower, but it's way more than what I want to spend. At 60 grand, I know that would do it. 175 horsepower. Hmm. This little guy, 224. Well, that's what I'm saying. This little guy, it's only $134,000. I've got 17 grand. Uh, let's get back into the Olivers. Do I have the biggest Oliver? I do believe I have the biggest Oliver engine set up. 160 horsepower. This one. Hmm. That's interesting. Horsepower doesn't change. This one. Engine set up. 102 horsepower. Yeah, 103, and those aren't going to be any better, are they? I'd be shocked, 102, 103, yeah, okay. So we are stuck with what we have, folks. So let's go ahead and... Take this guy popping out the way. how this does. Maybe it won't struggle too bad. Maybe it'll do really good. Let's just find out. Moment of truth. It doesn't drop it down either. Or does it? Nope. Oh, that's such a bummer. I've got tractors that won't run it. I wonder if there's any tractor that it will run. That's strange. These three four inches don't drop down far enough. I'll figure that out for next time. Might have to do some modification! I really like to run that guy. And if the modification I'm thinking of works, you can see it's not as good. I'm afraid it's time for me to wrap up for the day, so I'm going to figure that out for next time so we've got that figured out.